Hello folks, it's going to be a quick single one today because I'm working on the 100 um, watches video. Uh, we're going to see what's on the other side of that lovely looking strap. So, here we have another iconic Soviet beauty. What do you think of that? Eighteen mil lugs, as all most Soviet watches are. Uh, volcano case, flat acrylic glass, and this is known in the business as a red eye or a dragon's eye. As if you look, the golden markers are shaped in a more of a, an, an ellipse or an oval compared to the round so it gives it kind of like the dragon's eye sort of effect I've put it onto this um, bracelet just for the time being I don't quite like it but it is about the right period it's a mechanical winder The hands, oh, bloody focus you stupid bastard, oh dear. The hands are supposed to have red um, infilled in the gaps, but it's, it's uniformly missing. Here he goes. How's that? So, this is like colloquially known as the red eye. And there you go. Right, we'll take another chat up top. Uh, here we go, gratuitous look. I've cleaned the crystal inside and out, and it's very clear. But I think the uh, dial isn't so much black, is it? it's almost like a, a slightly grey. You can see uh, why they call them volcanoes because it's kind of like you know, like a V, sort of, almost a V cut off plane. Oh, there you go. I've made strides with this. I've now got it so that it's only it's running slow as opposed to like insanely fast. Because uh, and I and I found that there seems to be timing marks in there for um, setting that up. So that's going to be sorted. Like um, I've got a quartz version of this coming as well. So that's going to be good. I'm kind of like, you know, I, I mean, I'm just kind of waiting on things. Right? Um, I'm just being, just changing the battery on this old beauty, known as the Big Red Star sla uh, Slava Quartz. It's very Submariner, that is. And it's got the lower quadrant. Now, this red and white white and red like design on the hands and that you can actually find on um and it, there's there was a particular brand of aircraft um that had these white with red dial in the air in the cockpit and i think that's where like slava got that from oh, look at that it's spot on absolutely this thing does not lose a second it's very very good to watch so I'm just changing the battery on that one because I don't know how good the battery is. So it's all going on. Um, this arrived, as you know. I've put a battery into it and it's not having it. So there's something, but there's nothing wrong with the stepper motor. There's nothing wrong with the gear train. It's something between the coil and the chip that's causing the problems with that one. Uh, I think it's quite a nice one, but it is all complete, and I haven't bothered to clean the dial yet, but I will do, and um, this one will shine. Uh, I can gain some very important information on that as well. So, bloody West Ham got themselves out of trouble, didn't they? The gits. Well, I would love to have like, walked out all the local West Ham supporters and said, ha ha ha, they come down. 
Like, you know. Uh, like, what can you do? Like, they, there is still a very, very small, slender chance. I've uh, been wearing this a lot. Absolutely loving it. This won't be the last Victor I'm going to get. Um, the only thing I don't like on this one is the clasps seem to be very, very chintzy compared to the... I mean, these are solid links. Uh, these, uh, it's, it's a very, very nice looking watch. It really is. It, it, uh, people hate them, but, you know, I mean, it's a good movement in there. Um, it's 200 metres waterproof. It keeps absolutely sterling time. And yet, I mean, that blue is just to die for, isn't it? Look at that. It's, it's just gorgeous with the gold. And the gold, you know, and I, I like that. I like the signed crown. I like the signed clasp. I like the brushed overall on the outside with the polished all to a chrome finish. Right. The people slag them down. There's a bit of a mark there. Oh, I seem to have scuffed that. That's not good. What's that happened? Yeah, I've scratched it there. And there was a bloke on the gum tree. He was selling a, a chronograph for a five. Oh. Sorry, that's Gilly. He's just been a complete... The new, the new cat that we've got um, to live here is in season, so he's losing his um, he's losing his brain a bit. So he's just been smacked because he keeps clawing me. He opened up a, a vein in my leg last night, clawed my leg, and I mean the thing was like squirting blood out. I you know, and I'm getting a bit tired of like you know I've been covered in bloody like you know great big gashes and everything. Like. So he's just been absolutely smashed, you know, now he's, now he's washing his dink all light, you know. Oh yeah. Refurbished that. Rusted, seized up, it took a long time to get it go get it out. Still a bit of rust on it, but it now works. It's got a very strange key on it. So, uh, there you go. So, I'm not going to give it too much to the old baloney tonight, boy, you know. I mean, I hope I'm finding you all well. Um, I've got a camera coming, right? Uh, it's called an Ixus, Canon Ixus or something. All right, so hopefully, like, things will... I mean, I can then have it on the tripod permanently, and it means my phone can be just used for phone stuff. Um, there's... What else have I got coming in, all right? Bloody um, Aldi's, like um, forty pound pressure washers in Aldi's, like yeah, that's brilliant. Sold out, like you know, and it's like bloody hell, right? So I went online at Aldi's and it's sold out across the old bloody board, like you know. And it's like, well, what's the point of selling them if people can't buy the bloody thing? And guess what? You see them like going for ninety hundred quid. It's on eBay. Because people go in there, despite being told that they're limited to one or two of an item, they just buy the bloody lot. And they flog them up on eBay two, three times the price. I mean, what's the point? Aldi should be a bit more bloody, um, what's it, responsible about that, because it means nobody can get anything. The one thing they have got up there at the moment, which any of you motoring people are interested in, is the magnetic tool trace. You know the ones like, you know, you, they, they've got little magnets built into the bottom and you could just chuck bolts and stuff like that into it and they don't go anywhere. Well, I, well I've been grabbing some of those, I'll tell you that. Like, you know, and do not, watch watch people, do not bother with their £2.99 demagnetizer. It says it does watches on the blurb and everything. It doesn't. Friend, A uh, friend of mine from the forums, like, uh, like he actually took... Um, What's it? Like, he actually took the size of his common Dursky um, to the aperture, and there's no way this thing would ever fit through. Like, you know, so that's a bit of a con, Aldi's. Like, you know, it's not like Aldi's because they're usually quite good, but that is a bit, you know, I mean, the only watches you'll be able to get into there would be like tiny little atomic sized ones, like, you know, 
Well, I, you know, or, or, or watches for incredibly small people, or, you know, gremlin watches, or goblin watches. So, beware. That £2.99, all it's really good for is demagnetising tool ends, like screwdrivers, scissors, um, pliers, or anything, anything that does get demagnetised. You, you know, but like most um, tool steel pliers and that, they, they, they don't get magnetised because of their nature. So, like, done a bit of work outside today. I, I'm still waiting for my Bloyager. It's in the country. It's with Royal Mail. It should have been here today and wasn't. This turned up instead. Like, oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Like, uh, that's just another, like, you know, I've got a Chaker Stadium and I've now got a Chaker Red Eye. I'm pleased with that. Like, you know. And these come from a place called Ugly or Uglitch. U-G-L-I-C-H and you can see why well, like, you know I mean, this, this you know if you look at the aesthetics of it it's one of the ugliest bloody watches you can get uh, you know so it's all I think I've got a Gruen coming or like, a brand new Gruen from Canada like I think it was like five pound like it's brand new like it never been used with boxed papers like flavour Oh, and I bought another uh, Pole Jot Olympic Volcano, it's the same, same thing, but that one's got glass on it, and um, that one I got I got from Israel for £7, so I'm quite pleased about that, like, you know, so I mean, that, that means I've got a reddish brown mock bar 80, and this one is the blue. Then all I've got to do is get the green one with Mishka the teddy bear or whatever it is that's on on the green ones. But they have a slightly different case. They have putt cases rather than the volcanoes. But that means then I will have all the pole jots, right, you know, salted except for the, um, the fish eye, which is what I do. Right, I'm going to pole jot fish eye at Olympics. They look absolutely awesome. They have like a metallic silver, like in a dial, and then it's like a, a very nice navy blue outer dial and navy blue markings on it. Like, and it's got the Olympic stuff. I mean, these Olympic watches are as rare as anything. Oh, Gilly is now trying to make up for me because, like, you know, he's, he's like, you know, he, he keeps clawing me. I don't like it. I mean, absolutely loving this um, e -cig. Look at that. I've set it up for disco light. Yeah, right. I think that's bloody cool, so what I'm going to do is next month I'm buying another one, but this one will be in green, so now I've got another one of these in green, but I need a new glass for, All right, and um, I will fit the green one to that, and then everybody will say, oh, haven't you got nice colour coded E6, and I might say, yeah, because I'm cool. Right, I'll leave that with you, I hope this all finds you well. Um, we're like, you know, like it. I've just saw a thing today, like, you know, that uh, when Brexit happens, some four fifths of UK hauliers able to get in and out of the UK with food will be prohibited. So that means great. We've got no farms, we've got no farm produce of like, you know, that can match what we get from Europe. And they're gonna tell us that the that the Europeans are gonna say, no, sorry, you ain't allowed into Britain, and um, of course, like they're gonna say, yeah, okay, right, well, it's no worries. Why don't we just sell it somewhere else? From sotty English, like you know. Right, Toodle Pipsky, catch you in the next one.